Time to finish uh, reassembling this old lathe. In this uh, last part, 3 out of 3, I'm gonna reassemble the headstock. Um, I just uh, fixed the uh, headstock to the bed with uh, the uh, long stud bolts. This way it won't tip over, so that makes work a little easier. One final thing I need to do before I can uh, reassemble this headstock is to uh, take out these uh, oilers and clean them. When I uh, got the lathe I noticed that they had been using uh, grease uh, instead of oil. And also it has been standing outside in the rain so I want to make sure that there's no dirt in there. I don't know why they use grease instead of oil. Maybe because the oil was pissing out of the sides. Uh, because they used uh, a thin motor oil. Alright, so I found out that I can screw in this M8 threaded bolt. And, oh, it's quite loose. Lots of grease in there. When you look down the oil hole, you can see that the uh, hole in the uh, uh, bronze bearing doesn't line up. I think I think it wasn't installed uh, properly, but it might as well have moved. I'll. Uh, I'll uh, leave it like this. I don't think it's a good idea to uh, start messing with this. I will tell you what I did to the bronze bearings. Um, this is my first time working with bronze bearings. I have zero experience with these. So, look what I do. Don't do as I do. Um, the inside is... Well, it's it's smooth but your nail will catch a little uh, on the inner part of the uh, of the bearing there are also a couple of uh, well uh, holes where some material got embedded at, one, at some time so what I did uh, first was using this pick and uh, work around in these holes making sure there was nothing still left in there then I took a small knife and uh, went around the uh, holes making sure that they didn't uh, uh, well that they were flat that the material didn't got pushed uh, uh, up um, then I took one of these uh, a new box cutter knife and I worked it around uh, the whole bearing taking off very very little material and I was hoping to get the high spots of these uh, uh, well a little bit ridges here um, I also did the same for this uh, uh, tapered part here which uh, takes the thrust load uh, this part is actually the most damaged you can it really catches your nail on the rear of the bearing I worked this surface with the box cutter knife and it was quite badly grooved I took off quite a bit of material and since this is uh, um, well I reckon this is not a problem because uh, uh, the bearing is pushed this way so it's this surface is only for keeping things together the uh, the part that uh, rides against this surface here it is it was also uh, uh, well it also was uh, quite badly uh, uh, one. It also had a lot of grooves in there. I rubbed this part on a uh, on a stone till I got it uh, pretty flat. The uh, the groove in here 
it doesn't look factory original it's uh, it's it's not concentric uh, with the rest of the part it was probably cut at a later time that's basically what I did uh, to the bearing uh, trying to take out as uh, little material as possible because when you take out too much um, the tapered bearing might seize up I should also tell you what I did to the uh, spindle well the bearing part of the spindle uh, it's not much the only thing I did is uh, very lightly rub this uh, hard uh, stone file on here only on the, uh, the middle part which is uh, very very slightly grooved it's hardly noticeable I'm hoping this will help with the oil distribution and I did the same for this very slightly rubbing it this is the rear bearing it got the same treatment as the front bearing although it is in a better condition so I'm keeping my fingers crossed hoping that uh, I didn't screw up things and uh, all this work will be for nothing so, a bit of oil I'm using a uh, um, whey oil that I uh, got with my uh, cheap uh, Chinese lathe it's uh, pretty thick but I have no idea if it is the correct oil for this I should google these numbers maybe somebody knows if this is uh, good oil for uh, well, plain bearings I'm gonna put in this part first, it's the uh, inner part of the bearing. It feels nice. Here we go. It's to go down. Next is the pulley it's a little rusty on the inside I'm going to put a light coat of oil on there I had it galvanized but this is uh, cast iron so it didn't turn out that great line up the keyway take a look at my pictures let's see now I believe I have all the uh, parts on there in uh, the correct order now I gotta push it through some has a set screw um, in here and there is a small copper part that uh, rides on the threads and now I'm not sure if I can install it from the outside I got a little brass part back in there it was just uh, mushroomed uh, out because of the uh, set screw pushing against it so I probably could have uh, installed it from the outside damn it move this needs to move on to there onto that register and the best way to do it uh, is by tightening this round screw over here but then the spindle starts to turn so I think uh, my best bet is to uh, install the uh, chuck 
and put something in there to hold the spindle. Here's a tire iron that might work. I had this chuck apart because, uh, because it was binding. Also, I did some tear resting on it. I don't feel comfortable with this. Too much force is needed. I'm gonna take this apart again tomorrow. Turns out the uh, the problem is with the keyway. It did fall out at some point, so I must have put it in reverse and it's slightly higher in one end. I guess it, it got uh, ground down a little on one end. So when the keyway is in there the ring doesn't want to line up and move onto the register. I polished the inside of this uh, part um, making sure there was no uh, um, sink uh, on there from the uh, electroplating. And now it goes on there without too much trouble. Of course, now I forgot the belt again. But I'm getting really good at taking this thing apart. Screw the belt. I'm putting this thing back together. I'll uh, probably need to buy a shorter belt anyway. The uh, front bearing gets uh, preloaded by tightening this uh, round nut and then fixing it with uh, the set screw. If anybody knows how tight I should set this bearing please uh, add it in the comments. I assume I need uh, to allow a bit of uh, play for uh, the bearings heating up but I have no idea how much. The rear bearing gets uh, preloaded by uh, backing off this uh, round nut and so it pushes uh, backwards. It uh, doesn't get uh, fixed from the rear because the uh, well, this gearing that belongs on there it rides against uh, the spindle and not against the brass uh, bearing. Of course this doesn't fit anymore so I'll need to polish the inside. Okay, this gear uh, probably belonged to the uh, chase screw cutting uh, assembly that uh, used to be with this lathe. Um, unfortunately it no longer is. I only have a few parts. What it does, it copies um, a, uh, a master thread, something like this, from the rear through the back here to the front of the lathe. Here's a, a picture uh, of a lathe with uh, chase uh, screw cutting. As you can see there are a whole lot of parts needed to uh, get this thing running. Here's the last part I need to put on this uh, spindle. It's some sort of a protector for the uh, bronze bearing. I've uh, been thinking about drilling a small hole in here so I can um, uh, lubricate the uh, top bearing a bit better. That's it. Um, well, let's put on the uh, chuck. I already put a light coat of oil on here. It is a it is a bit damaged but uh, I worked it with a stone file and well I'm hoping for the best. Now I uh, only need to Reinstall the uh, the oilers. Mm. 
done. I would like to uh, replace these uh, simple oilers with a uh, nice drip uh, oilers. I've seen a video on the internet from my Ford boy and he made his own oilers which looked uh, very nice but uh, that's a bit above my uh, skill level at the moment. Maybe something for a future project. So the preload on the bearing is only hand tight and that's not much because these things are pretty oily. But I was expecting this thing to spin a little freer. It is it isn't binding anywhere. And there is no play whatsoever. At least none that you can feel. Maybe the oil is a bit too thick or it's because it's well pretty cold here. I will monitor the uh, temperature of the bearings when it gets too hot and well hotter than you can hold I will back off the uh, tension on the uh, bearing but again maybe my uh, oil is just a bit too thick so far none of it has come out. So that concludes the uh, three part series about reassembling this old lathe. Now I gotta dream up a good plan how to mount a uh, motor to this thing. Um, I'll leave you with a few pictures from the uh, final result.